What's going on, everyone? This is Jake here, back with the third episode of Coding Your Own Stock Trading Bot, okay? I hope you found a lot of value in this series so far, and there's a lot more to come. So in this third episode, what we're gonna be talking about is basically using machine learning to optimize our strategy. Um, in this episode, it's going to be very, very basic machine learning. I don't want to go too in depth, too hardcore yet, because I know a lot of people that are watching are beginner coders and it might overwhelm them. So I really want to start slow and work our way up. Um, if you've been following the series, you know that I've been using uh, Ninja Trader as my platform. Hold up, I'm just going to pull my mic closer here so you can hear me louder. Um, I've been using Ninja Trader to, um, you know, test and build our strategies, and I think it's a great platform. And one of the biggest benefits of Ninja Trader is that they provide a lot of tools uh, out of the box for you, so you don't have to code it yourself. If we wanted to make our own uh, machine learning, you know, program, it would be very, very time consuming. And I do plan on doing that in later episodes for more of the hardcore intermediate expert coders. But for now, I just really want to keep it simple. Okay. So in our both our previous videos, we had our simple moving average crossover strategy. Here's the code here. And once again, the GitHub link will be in my description below. And we ran it and we saw that it was kind of, you know, um, okay, and not too great. Let me let me take this off and go back. You know, when the five simple moving average cross the um, 20 moving average we kind of bought and we would go short uh, on the opposite way okay so you can see our chart um, on how it works and this is it and once again this is the ninja trader platform so um, this is great and all like you know 135 bucks in a month not too bad not too shabby um, but let's try and optimize it. Let's try and make it better. Now, in our last episode, we added shorting. So we add the ability to actually um, bet when the price was going to go down and make a profit off of it. But how do we fine tune our values? We have a fast EMA of five and a, and a slow EMA of 20. Okay. And once again, what that means is every five candlesticks get the average price and compare it with the price of every 20 candlesticks. And when they cross, enter um, enter a trade base off of that. So what NinjaTrader offers, uh, a great tool out of the box is called optimization. Um, and it allows you to basically run a simulated, a, many different simulated environments testing different values. And this is a, an example of machine learning. It's a very, very simple uh, example of machine learning. Um, I think it's called shadowing in most terms, but basically you can run um, instead of just one back test every time with set values and then changing it and rerunning it, you can run a hundred or, or a thousand different simulated environments and then it picks the best option. And, and that's what basically, um, you know, machine learning, you know, a, a portion of machine learning is, is running different simulated environments and picking the best one. That's what it's all about. Um, so taking a data set and learning from that data and then applying it to you know, real world, uh, a real world example. So in our case, our test data is our back test historical data. We'll want to feed that into the optimization. Um, it just, it's, I don't know if it, like it's called optimization. So we'll feed our historical data into this optimization uh, strategy and it will spit out, spit out the best performing um, strategy. And then you would want to take that and use it in real world with real money and, and then you know do it again at the end of the, the next month in real world so um, once again overall with back testing um, it's a great way to start your strategy for sure but at the end of the day you want to be learning on real-time data using real money real cash in real time with real stocks that's what matters at the end of the day what i'm showing you is setting you up for that success um, but at the end of the day, it comes down to real money because uh, that's, you know, that's what makes you the money at the end of the day. It makes you the cold, hard cash is trading in real time. So anyways, we have our strategy. Uh, once again, the, script's, the, 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 the script is in the link in my description on GitHub, but we're going to optimize it. So let's try and get it higher than $135. 
Um, what you need to do in NinjaTrader, this is the strategy analyzer, okay? Um, so once again, my first episode, I showed you how to download and install NinjaTrader. But to get to the strategy analyzer, you click new at the top left here and hit strategy analyzer. It's gonna open and load up. Select your simple moving average crossover strategy that we've been working on. And then in the back test type at the top right here, you're gonna select optimization. So we select that and we notice a couple things happen. So how optimization works is for every strategy parameter that you add, you're able to test from a minimum and a maximum value type, okay? So in our example, we're only using five and 20 for EMAs, but what about the other ones? Maybe there's better ones. So what you can do is under fast, click the uh, drop down arrow and we had it at five by default. So let's set it to one. So it's gonna test from one to five, all the different values. And then for the slow one, uh, we'll try one as well, one to 20, and see which one does the best and increment it by one, okay? So it's gonna test every scenario. So it's gonna run the back test with five and 20, and then you know, four and 19, three and 18, and then the other way as well. So um, testing every possible scenario, and it's gonna give us the best result. Um, all right, so we got that. We'll have to select an instrument. So let's do, we'll just do, um, MES uh, micro e mini contracts with futures. Um, we'll do last minute, sure, that's fine. Um, let's do, let's just do, say, January. We'll do January 1st to January 31st. Normal trading hours is okay. Break at end of day, we can uncheck that. Uh, include commission, sure. Um, maximum bars to look back. I just do 256 because it, it runs faster. Bars required to trade 20, yep. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Slippage. That's fine. Uh, keep best number results. So this is the new stuff when you select optimize. So, um, yeah, we'll keep the top 10 results. Um, optimize data series. I don't know what this does, so I'm going to leave it unchecked. Um, I should probably read up on that. Uh, optimize on what do you want to optimize on? So there's many, many different factors we can optimize on. Honestly, I just want to optimize percent profitable. That's what I care about, the percentage. Optimizer. Um, what's genetic? Oh, this is so cool. All right, I'm going to keep it default for now, but there's a genetic option, which I have to read up on. Um, that looks really cool for, for learning. Um, for a way of learning. So that's really cool. I'll keep it default for now, but that's something I need to read up on later. You know, once again, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not an expert on every single different factor when it comes to building a strategy. And I just want to be transparent about that. Like I'm learning too, as I, I, I test out nature at it, as I use it, you know, I'm so excited to see how good I'm going to be three months or six months from now, uh, creating new strategies and, and optimizing my current strategy. So this is really awesome. So anyways, for optimizer, we'll keep it default. Um, the rest will just leave the same way. Okay, so we got optimizer select or optimization selected. Let's hit run and see what we get, guys. Let's see what we get. It's running all the different iterations. It's gonna take about 10 more seconds. Sip on some water here, see what we get. Oh my God, it did terrible. So this was the best. So this is, this is what happens. It's going to show you all the different parameters. Okay. And keep you the, te the, the, the top 10 of them. So at the top here, we can see that, um, five of fast and one of slow did the best in terms of percent profitable had a 52%, um, 52% of the time it was profitable, which is pretty good. So, you know, every trade 52% of the time, you know, 5.2 times out of 10, it's going to make a profitable trade. Uh, we can see that it lost $10,000. So that's not really good. Um, but we wanted to optimize on percent profitable. Okay. And then it lists the next best one. 
right? Which got 51. Uh, this one got 50.92. So, you know, you have every scenario and all the parameters for those, those levels. And with that being said, um, okay, so those were the 10 best ones. All right. So now what you can do, so let's change our optimize on parameter to something else. Let's do maximum net profit. So net profit is after all your losses, after commissions and stuff like that. Let's run it again and see what the best one is. See what we get. Huh, that's interesting. None of them were profitable ever. That's that's <laughs> that's so bad. None of them were profitable at all. I th I swear in our last video we had one that was profit. We had a couple that. I mean, in the first scenario I showed you guys it made money. Um. That's funny. So the best one was zero dollars one one. Uh, that's funny. Okay. Well, we opt we try to optimize the net profit. So, um. There's a lot of different ways um, that you know you can tell your strategy to make trades on. Um, you know, simply change. You know, if we simply change it to say instead of minute candles, it did like hourly candles. So we put sixty for the value, and we ran it. You can see it does a lot better, right? Um, you can see that you know it actually made 1300 profit which is is pretty awesome that's not too bad um so you can see that there's there's so many different um variables that affect your profit and the more granular you go with your data series like if you're trading every 30 seconds 15 seconds every tick um your strategy like the quality of your strategy needs to increase exponentially like so well that it can handle all those losses so you know, when I showed you right before with just the one minute and it made a lot, it made quite a big loss, um, sw uh, simply switching it to a 60 minute candle, um, you know, alters the profit a lot because now um, it's not as granular and sometimes it won't enter a trade uh, either for the day or it'll take a lot longer to enter a trade because that hourly candle specifically needs to match up, right? And when it sells, uh, it's waiting for the next hourly candle to basically build. Um, so in this scenario, um, when I changed it to hourly, the best performing um, setup was a fast of two, fast EMA of two, and a slow of 12, uh, making $1,300 in profit, um, basically from January 1st to 31st. So not too shabby, that's pretty awesome. And you can kind of click each one, see how they did. And, um, you know, like even, uh, hold up. Oh, okay, never mind. It just, it's cool seeing all the data different the the different data and, and how to optimize it and this is a great tool to be able to set that up honestly i just found this tool yesterday and i should have put it in my second video but this is an example of machine learning um, it's a very very simple one but um, this is an example of not having to rewrite code to um, alter different results right and that's basically what machine learning is you're telling a computer to um, pop in different values when it's making a condition or a decision uh, over time based on previous data, okay? So our previous data in this example is our trades in January, right? And then simulating that 100 times and then picking the best one, okay? Um, and it's, it's a very awesome and cool reality that you can tell your computer to learn and to um, optimize your trades and essentially make you more money in the end. Um, so this is really, really cool. Um, so let's try a different couple things. Um, let's try, so one, let's try changing the max values, which I'm interested in. Let's do it by times 10. So we'll do one to 50 and one to 200 for the, the slow. So let's run that. So it's probably going to take a bit longer because now it's, um, yeah, there's 10,000, 10,000, no, 
10,000 iterations. So it's going to be a bit longer to run here. About 20 seconds more. While we're waiting, if you guys, um, so I got a couple requests. A lot of you wanted to see me coding in Python. Um, I'm not very strong with Python, but I can do that if you guys want me to. And then I got another video um, talking more in depth about machine learning. So if you guys want to see that type of videos and content, just let me know in the comments below um, because I want to be able to prioritize what you guys want to see versus what I want to put out. Um, so yeah, leave a comment below on what you want to see next in this series. We got two more episodes and then I'm going to keep making some cool uh, original videos all about coding, programming, AI, machine learning, all that sort of stuff. So we changed the max values from fit from five to 50 for the, the fast and from 20 to 200 for the slow and bam, we got higher profits. Now we're at 1500 uh, bucks for the most profitable strategy, which was 46 fast and 22 slow, right? It made $1,500 over for January. That's not too bad. It had a, so a sharp ratio of 0.31. Let's say, like I said in my last video, that's not good. Um, let's check out the trades it made. Okay. So it was never really in the red, but we had some, some losing days. Um, okay, cool. So yeah, that's, that's not too shabby. That's not too shabby guys. Um, that's, that's really cool. That, that's really awesome. So there's one more option I wanted to try optimize data series. Let's, let's read up on it because I want to know what this does. Uh, optimization. Here we go. All right. So understanding optimization properties. Optimize data series. If set to true, the data series value will be available for optimization. Oh, so it optimizes hourly, minute, second. Okay. So let's do that. Let's see what we get on that. I'm really interested. Uh, optimize data series. Check that. Hit run. Oh, I didn't change it. Let me abort it. Hold up. Abort. Okay. Value min max increment oh, okay minute yeah let's do let's do minute we'll do max 60. yeah this is this is going to take a long time now there's 600,000 different scenarios that it has to account for and it's going to optimize so it says calculating right now um it's probably going to be too long so I'm probably going to end the video here because I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Um, but I'll, I'll post a screenshot of the results after um, on what it looks like because it's going to take a long time. So anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I know it was super simple. I wasn't really coding any machine learning um, you know, tactics like, like neural networks or um, you know different learning models. So I apologize for that. I just wanted to kind of show you a very simple example of this machine learning strategy. I hope you found value in this. Let me know if your bot makes more money for you now, if it's optimized, let me know in the comments below. Um, once again, this code is all available on GitHub in my description. So you'll be able to access from there. And we got two more episodes for this series. So uh, stay tuned for that. And yeah, Jake is out. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out guys.